An instruction set architecture is an abstract model of a computer. It is also referred to as architecture or computer architecture. A realization of an ISA is called an implementation. An ISA permits multiple implementations that may vary in performance, physical size, and monetary cost, among other things, because the ISA serves as the interface between software and hardware. Software that has been written for an ISA can run on different implementations of the same ISA. This has enabled binary compatibility between different generations of computers to be easily achieved, and the development of computer families. Both of these developments have helped to lower the cost of computers and to increase their applicability. For these reasons, the ISA is one of the most important abstractions in computing today. An ISA defines everything a machine language programmer needs to know in order to program a computer. What an ISA defines differs between ISAs. In general, ISAs define the supported data types, what state there is such as the main memory and registers and their semantics such as the memory consistency and addressing modes, the instruction set, the set of machine instructions that comprises a computer's machine language and the input output model. Topic: Overview An instruction set architecture is distinguished from a microarchitecture, which is the set of processor design techniques used, in a particular processor, to implement the instruction set. Processors with different microarchitectures can share a common instruction set. For example, the Intel Pentium and the Advanced Micro Devices Athlon implement nearly identical versions of the x86 instruction set, but have radically different internal designs. The concept of an architecture, distinct from the design of a specific machine, was developed by Fred Brooks at IBM during the design phase of System 360. Prior to NPL System 360, the company's computer designers had been free to honor cost objectives not only by selecting technologies but also by fashioning functional and architectural refinements. The spread compatibility objective, in contrast, postulated a single architecture for a series of five processors spanning a wide range of cost and performance. None of the five engineering design teams could count on being able to bring about adjustments in architectural specifications as a way of easing difficulties in achieving cost and performance objectives. Some virtual machines that support bytecode as their ISA such as Smalltalk, the Java Virtual Machine, and Microsoft's Common Language Runtime, implement this by translating the bytecode for commonly used code paths into native machine code. In addition, these virtual machines execute less frequently used code paths by interpretation see, just in -time compilation. Transmeter implemented the x86 instruction set atop VLIW processors in this fashion. Topic. Classification of ISAs An ISA may be classified in a number of different ways. A common classification is by architectural complexity. A complex instruction set computer has many specialized instructions, some of which may only be rarely used in practical programs. A reduced instruction set computer RISC simplifies the processor by efficiently implementing only the instructions that are frequently used in programs, while the less common operations are implemented as subroutines, having their resulting additional processor execution time offset by infrequent use. Other types include very long instruction word VLIW architectures, and the closely related long instruction word LIW and explicitly parallel instruction computing EPIC architectures. These architectures seek to exploit instruction-level parallelism with less hardware than RISC and CISC by making the compiler responsible for instruction issue and scheduling. Architectures with even less complexity have been studied, such as the Minimal Instruction Set Computer and One Instruction Set Computer These are theoretically important types, but have not been commercialized. Instructions. Machine language is built up from discrete statements or instructions. On the processing architecture, a given instruction may specify particular registers for arithmetic, addressing, or control functions particular memory locations or offsets particular addressing modes used to interpret the operands more complex operations are built up by combining these simple instructions, which are executed sequentially, or as otherwise directed by control flow instructions. Topic. Instruction types 
Examples of operations common to many instruction sets include Topic: <laughs> Data handling and memory operations. Set a register to a fixed constant value. Copy data from a memory location to a register or vice versa. A machine instruction is often called move. However, the term is misleading. Used to store the contents of a register, result of a computation, or to retrieve stored data to perform a computation on it later. Often called load and store operations. Read and write data from hardware devices. Topic: <laughs> Arithmetic and logic operations. Add, subtract, multiply, or divide the values of two registers, placing the result in a register, possibly setting one or more condition codes in a status register. Increment, decrement in some ISAs, saving operand fetch in trivial cases. Perform bitwise operations, e.g., taking the conjunction and disjunction of corresponding bits in a pair of registers, taking the negation of each bit in a register. Compare two values in registers, for example, to see if one is less, or if they are equal. Floating point instructions for arithmetic on floating point numbers. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Control flow operations. Branch to another location in the program and execute instructions there. Conditionally branch to another location if a certain condition holds. Indirectly branch to another location. Call another block of code, while saving the location of the next instruction as a point to return to. Coprocessor instructions Load, store data to and from a coprocessor, or exchanging with CPU registers. Perform coprocessor operations Complex instructions Processors may include «complex» instructions in their instruction set. A single «complex» instruction does something that may take many instructions on other computers. Such instructions are typified by instructions that take multiple steps, control multiple functional units, or otherwise appear on a larger scale than the bulk of simple instructions implemented by the given processor. Some examples of Complex instructions include transferring multiple registers to or from memory, especially the stack, at once, moving large blocks of memory, e.g., string copy or DMA transfer, complicated integer and floating point arithmetic, e.g., square root, or transcendental functions such as logarithm, sine, cosine, etc. SIMD instructions, a single instruction performing an operation on many homogeneous values in parallel, possibly in dedicated SIMD registers. Performing an atomic test and set instruction or other read modify write atomic instruction. Instructions that perform ALU operations with an operand from memory rather than a register complex instructions are more common in CISC instruction sets than in RISC instruction sets, but RISC instruction sets may include them as well. RISC instruction sets generally do not include ALU operations with memory operands, or instructions to move large blocks of memory, but most RISC instruction sets include SIMD or vector instructions that perform the same arithmetic operation on multiple pieces of data at the same time. SIMD instructions have the ability of manipulating large vectors and matrices in minimal time. SIMD instructions allow easy parallelization of algorithms commonly involved in sound, image, and video processing. Various SIMD implementations have been brought to market under trade names such as MMX, 3DNOW, and Altavec. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Parts of an instruction. On traditional architectures, an instruction includes an opcode that specifies the operation to perform, such as add contents of memory to register and zero or more operand specifiers, which may specify registers, memory locations, or literal data. The operand specifiers may have addressing modes determining their meaning or may be in fixed fields. In very long instruction word architectures, which include many microcode architectures, multiple simultaneous opcodes and operands are specified in a single instruction. Some exotic instruction sets do not have an opcode field, such as transport-triggered architectures (TTA) only operands. 
the fourth virtual machine and other zero operand instruction sets like any operand specifier fields such as some stack machines including NOSC conditional instructions often have a predicate field a few bits that encode the specific condition to cause the operation to be performed rather than not performed for example, a conditional branch instruction will be executed, and the branch taken, if the condition is true, so that execution proceeds to a different part of the program, and not executed, and the branch not taken, if the condition is false, so that execution continues sequentially. Some instruction sets also have conditional moves, so that the move will be executed, and the data stored in the target location, if the condition is true, and not executed, and the target location not modified, if the condition is false. Similarly, IBM Z – architecture has a conditional store instruction. A few instruction sets include a predicate field in every instruction, this is called branch predication. <laughs> <laughs> Number of operands Instruction sets may be categorized by the maximum number of operands explicitly specified in instructions, in the examples that follow, A, B, and C are direct or calculated addresses referring to memory cells, while reg1 and so on refer to machine registers. C equals A plus B. Zero operand, zero address machines, so-called stack machines. All arithmetic operations take place using the top one or two positions on the stack. Push A, push B, add, pop C. C equals A plus B needs four instructions. For stack machines, the terms zero operand and zero address apply to arithmetic instructions but not to all instructions as one operand push and pop instructions are used to access memory one operand one address machines so called accumulator machines include early computers and many small microcontrollers most instructions specify a single write operand that is constant a register or a memory location with the implicit accumulator as the left operand and the destination if there is one load a add b store c C equals A plus B needs three instructions. Two operand — many CISC and RISC machines fall under this category. CISC — move A to C, then add B to C. C equals A plus B needs two instructions. This effectively stores the result without an explicit store instruction. CISC Often machines are limited to one memory operand per instruction, load A, reg1, add B, reg1, store reg1, C. This requires a load, store pair for any memory movement regardless of whether the add result is an augmentation stored to a different place, as in C. A plus B, or the same memory location, A A plus B C equals A plus B needs three instructions. Risk requiring explicit memory loads, the instructions would be load A, reg 1, load B, reg 2, add reg 1, reg 2, store reg 2, C. C equals A plus B needs four instructions. Three operand allowing better reuse of data, CISC it becomes either a single instruction, add A, B, C. C equals A plus B needs one instruction. CISC or, on machines limited to two memory operands per instruction, move A, reg1, add reg1, B, C C equals A plus B needs two instructions. RISC — arithmetic instructions use registers only, so explicit two operand load — store instructions are needed, load A, reg1, load B, reg2, add reg1 plus reg2 to reg3, store reg3, C C equals A plus B needs four instructions. Unlike two operand or one operand, this leaves all three values A, B, and C in registers available for further reuse. More operands — Some CISC machines permit a variety of addressing modes that allow more than three operands registers or memory accesses, such as the VAX poly polynomial evaluation instruction. Due to the large number of bits needed to encode the three registers of a three operand instruction, RISC architectures that have 16 bit instructions are invariably two operand designs, such as the Atmel AVR, TIMSP430, and some versions of ARM Thumb. RISC architectures that have 32 bit instructions are usually three operand designs, such as the ARM, AVR32, MIPS, Power ISA, and Spark architectures. Each instruction specifies some number of operands registers, memory locations, or immediate values explicitly. 
Some instructions give one or both operands implicitly, such as by being stored on top of the stack or in an implicit register. If some of the operands are given implicitly, fewer operands need be specified in the instruction. When a destination operand explicitly specifies the destination, an additional operand must be supplied. Consequently, the number of operands encoded in an instruction may differ from the mathematically necessary number of arguments for a logical or arithmetic operation the arity. Operands are either encoded in the opcode representation of the instruction, or else are given as values or addresses following the instruction. Register pressure Register pressure measures the availability of free registers at any point in time during the program execution. Register pressure is high when a large number of the available registers are in use, thus, the higher the register pressure, the more often the register contents must be spilled into memory. Increasing the number of registers in an architecture decreases register pressure but increases the cost, while embedded instruction sets such as thumb suffer from extremely high register pressure because they have small register sets. General purpose RISC ISAs like MIPS and Alpha enjoy low register pressure. CISC ISAs like x86-64 offer low register pressure despite having smaller register sets. This is due to the many addressing modes and optimizations such as sub-register addressing, memory operands in ALU instructions, absolute addressing, PC relative addressing, and register-to-register -register spills that CISC ISAs offer. <laughs> Instruction length The size or length of an instruction varies widely, from as little as 4 bits in some microcontrollers to many hundreds of bits in some VLIW systems. Processors used in personal computers, mainframes, and supercomputers have instruction sizes between 8 and 64 bits. The longest possible instruction on x86 is 15 bytes 120 bits. Within an instruction set, different instructions may have different lengths. In some architectures, notably most reduced instruction set computers RISC, instructions are a fixed length, typically corresponding with that architecture's word size. In other architectures, instructions have variable length, typically integral multiples of a byte or a halfword. Some, such as the ARM with thumb extension have mixed variable encoding, that is two fixed, usually 32-bit and 16-bit encodings, where instructions can not be mixed freely but must be switched between on a branch or exception boundary in ARMv8. A RISC instruction set normally has a fixed instruction length often 4 bytes equals 32 bits whereas a typical CISC instruction set may have instructions of widely varying length 1 to 15 bytes for x86 Fixed length instructions are less complicated to handle than variable length instructions for several reasons not having to check whether an instruction straddles a cache line or virtual memory page boundary for instance and are therefore somewhat easier to optimize for speed equals Topic. Code density Equals. In early computers, memory was expensive, so minimizing the size of a program to make sure it would fit in the limited memory was often central. Thus the combined size of all the instructions needed to perform a particular task, the code density, was an important characteristic of any instruction set. Computers with high code density often have complex instructions for procedure entry, parameterized returns, loops, etc. Therefore, retroactively named complex instruction set computers (CISC). However, more typical or frequent CISC instructions merely combine a basic ALU operation, such as add, with the access of one or more operands in memory, using addressing modes such as direct, indirect, indexed, etc. Certain architectures may allow two or three operands including the result directly in memory or may be able to perform functions such as automatic pointer increment, etc. Software implemented instruction sets may have even more complex and powerful instructions. Reduced instruction set computers, RISC, were first widely implemented during a period of rapidly growing memory subsystems. They sacrifice code density to simplify implementation circuitry, and try to increase performance via higher clock frequencies and more registers. A single RISC instruction typically performs only a single operation, such as an add of registers or a load from a memory location into a register. 
A RISC instruction set normally has a fixed instruction length, whereas a typical CISC instruction set has instructions of widely varying length. However, as RISC computers normally require more and often longer instructions to implement a given task, they inherently make less optimal use of bus bandwidth and cache memories. Certain embedded RISC ISAs like Thumb and AVR32 typically exhibit very high density owing to a technique called code compression. This technique packs two 16-bit instructions into one 32-bit instruction, which is then unpacked at the decode stage and executed as two instructions. Minimal instruction set computers (MISC) are a form of stack machine where there are few separate instructions, 16 to 64, so that multiple instructions can be fit into a single machine word. These types of cores often take little silicon to implement, so they can be easily realized in an FPGA or in a multi-core form. The code density of MISC is similar to the code density of RISC. The increased instruction density is offset by requiring more of the primitive instructions to do a task. There has been research into executable compression as a mechanism for improving code density. The mathematics of Kolmogorov complexity describes the challenges and limits of this. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Representation. The instructions constituting a program are rarely specified using their internal, numeric form machine code. they may be specified by programmers using an assembly language or, more commonly, may be generated from programming languages by compilers. <laughs> <laughs> Design The design of instruction sets is a complex issue. There were two stages in history for the microprocessor. The first was the CISC complex instruction set computer, which had many different instructions. In the 1970s, however, places like IBM did research and found that many instructions in the set could be eliminated. The result was the RISC reduced instruction set computer, an architecture that uses a smaller set of instructions. A simpler instruction set may offer the potential for higher speeds, reduced processor size, and reduced power consumption. However, a more complex set may optimize common operations, improve memory and cache efficiency, or simplify programming. Some instruction set designers reserve one or more opcodes for some kind of system call or software interrupt. For example, MOS Technology 6502 uses OOH, Zilog Z80 uses the 8 codes C7, CF, D7, DF, E7, F, F7, FFH while Motorola 68000 use codes in the range A000, AFFFH. Fast virtual machines are much easier to implement if an instruction set meets the Popec and Goldberg virtualization requirements. The NOP slide used in Immunity Aware programming is much easier to implement if the unprogrammed State of the memory is interpreted as a NOP. On systems with multiple processors, non blocking synchronization algorithms are much easier to implement if the instruction set includes support for something such as fetch and add, load link, store conditional, UL, SC, or atomic compare and swap. <laughs> instruction set implementation Any given instruction set can be implemented in a variety of ways. All ways of implementing a particular instruction set provide the same programming model, and all implementations of that instruction set are able to run the same executables. The various ways of implementing an instruction set give different trade-offs between cost, performance, power consumption, size, etc. When designing the microarchitecture of a processor, engineers use blocks of hardwired Electronic circuitry often designed separately such as adders, multiplexers, counters, registers, ALUs, etc. Some kind of register transfer language is then often used to describe the decoding and sequencing of each instruction of an ISA using this physical microarchitecture. There are two basic ways to build a control unit to implement this description although many designs use middle ways or compromises. Some computer designs. Hardwire. The complete instruction set decoding and sequencing just like the rest of the microarchitecture. Other designs employ microcode routines or tables or both to do this. Typically as on chip ROMs or PLAS or both, although separate RAMs and ROMs have been used historically. The Western Digital MCP1600 is an older example, using a dedicated separate ROM for microcode. Some designs use a combination of hardwired design and microcode for the control unit. Some CPU designs use a writable control store. 
They compile the instruction set to a writable RAM or flash inside the CPU such as the recursive processor and the IMSY's CJIP, or an FPGA reconfigurable computing. An ISA can also be emulated in software by an interpreter. Naturally, due to the interpretation overhead, this is slower than directly running programs on the emulated hardware, unless the hardware running the emulator is an order of magnitude faster. Today, it is common practice for vendors of new ISAs or microarchitectures to make software emulators available to software developers before the hardware implementation is ready. Often the details of the implementation have a strong influence on the particular instructions selected for the instruction set. For example, many implementations of the instruction pipeline only allow a single memory load or memory store per instruction, leading to a load store architecture risk. For another example, some early ways of implementing the instruction pipeline led to a delay slot. The demands of high-speed digital signal processing have pushed in the opposite direction—forcing instructions to be implemented in a particular way. For example, to perform digital filters fast enough, the MAC instruction in a typical digital signal processor DSP must use a kind of Harvard architecture that can fetch an instruction and two data words simultaneously, and it requires a single cycle multiplier cumulate multiplier. See also Comparison of instruction set architectures Computer architecture CPU design Emulator Simulator List of instruction sets Instruction set simulator OVSIM full system simulator providing ability to create, model, emulate any instruction set using C and standard APIs Register transfer language RTL Micro operation